Hi everyone. Welcome to the junction, the channel where we explore the several aspects of our lifestyle that we interact with and how if it's a challenge, how to go about it. So now today we're going to dive into a very fascinating topic. The topic itself is no free lunch. Uh, those two good to be true opportunities we jump into. Are they really free? Are they really <laughs> too good to be as they so appear? Uh, I'll start like this. Imagine uh, you have an event at Kempinski, it's a round table. Uh, it's cyber security and you have several rank and you you've been you and five other colleagues, mixed gender. I've been picked to represent your company there. End of the day, Kempinski, with all its fun, when the day is finished, you're tired, you want to rest, you want to relax, and before you go, your boss uh, invites you for a drink at the Kempinski bar. You imagine the lighting there, imagine uh, the assorted drinks of the Kempinski bar. And you ask yourself, is it because I'm too good at work or could there be a hidden agenda? Now, as you think like that, so are uh, several things that we encounter in our daily life that we should actually examine further. Very close to home, I will start with the world coin that was in Kenya the other day. Several Kenyans are given opportunities to earn a, is it a particular amount of money for just appearing and giving some information. And it looks free. And several of Kenyans actually did go. And not, I'm using Kenya as a case study, but there are several countries where WorldCoin exists, except in the US where they come from and registered. That is the only place where they cannot collect the data from its own people. It's not allowed to do that. Uh, other examples uh, that are close to home is there's something in cyber security called phishing. Phishing is where I send you some email, you click on it, and once you've clicked, there are several things that can happen. I can get, get your data or you can pl pl plant a virus in your machine and from, from which I'm able to now continue settle in there and now be looking at several things, your passwords and everything you're doing on your machine. But why is it that we constantly click? Because of, again, they promise free lunch. You will get a job in Canada, click here for green cards, click here. And because we want the allure of goodness that is promised and it looks free or so easy to get, then we end up uh, succumbing to the phishing emails and uh, the consequences are dying. The other, the other sides of the free lunch that actually is allowed, like corporate social responsibility, when corporates come out and plan events, several events, and they do a lot of good, and it looks as though those corporates are doing it for free. But all they need to do to gain back is the airtime, the publicity. So if, even in that scenario of corporates, it is not totally free. Why? Because there is something they are getting in return. Look at politicians, be it during campaigns or any other time a politician is doing something. With a politician, there's always an agenda, but it always looks like my politician is very good, you know. But at the end of the day, is politicians are doing it for purposes of being seen. So I'm using all these scenarios for purposes of driving home a point that there is no free lunch. 
ordinarily we look at no free lunch only when it comes to ladies being taken out for our dinner, as the case of Kempinski. And we always, at the very beginning, the lady already knows that there is a possibility. I'm not saying all the time, but there's a possibility that it is there is no free drink, that there could be some hidden agenda. So basically what we are driving to, to today is that at any one point you see an opportunity, look deeper. Try to make judgments. What is in it for the other party? We, in the next topic, we are going to look at something in economics called the invincible hand, where even as we pursue our own self-interests, the entire society does gain. But the problem is when we assume that there is no self-interest and therefore we go thinking someone else could be doing something for us for free. Now, then their interest for doing that which they are doing and promising to do is hidden. And now that is more dangerous. So every time there is a favor, every time there's an opportunity, look at it, what is in it for those advertising that opportunity? What is in it for the other party that is presenting you with an opportunity? If someone sends you a piece of land and the piece of land is going to explode in returns in the next five months, it will quadruple. Then ask yourself, where can the owner of that farm keep it and have sell it five months down the line when it, the price has quadrupled? <laughs> so that is the topic today. There is no free lunch. There is always... The self-interest we pursue, it is a good thing, as we will see in the next discussion, but for today, always dig deeper into what is the hidden self-interest. Immediately, the, the self-interest is not totally clear, then that is when there is a catch. That is it for today. See you in the next uh, discussion, and for now, stay safe. Watch out for those self-interests. Cheers.